Hello Flow Fam, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I forgot what else. Turn on this post notifications. If you're new, my name is Sydney. Today I am very happy, I don't know why. I feel like a little like fairy. I could just like start flying if I wanted to. I've been working on personal health, uh, mental health. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so this morning I didn't put any pressure on myself to do like anything I didn't need to. I just relaxed in bed, didn't wake up at a certain time, like straight relaxing and I'm like full of serotonin. So, woo! I'm gonna pop a Red Bull and I'm proud to say I'm no longer addicted to Red Bull. I still really like it and I drink it every once in a while. But this is only my second one this week and the week is already almost over. So we're doing good. It just tastes so good. I, I can't explain. So I thought it'd be fun if today we just like hung out, talked. I don't know what to talk about, but we're just gonna talk while I make breakfast. Now, I used to make these videos a lot and make crepes. I'm in the mood for something really healthy, not like sugary, because I'm already full of serotonin, so I may as well keep giving it to myself. Keep, keep being healthy. Why am I like so out of it? I like can't see because the lighting behind the camera is so bright. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get my materials for my morning breakfast. Okay, first of all, it's 4 p.m. I'm just now eating breakfast. I pretty much laid in bed all morning because like, it was like raining last night and then the sun coming in, it's like cloudy. So it was like the perfect amount of sun in my room to where I just like, I was just so happy and why leave if you're happy, you know? I'm feeling profound this morning. I don't know why. I also straightened my hair last night. If you like that. Okay, so we need two eggs, half an avocado, and your favorite choice of bread. I actually prefer sourdough bread and it, sourdough bread tastes way good with avocado toast. Wait. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so yeah, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna do my classic honey wheat Sara Lee bread. This is the best bread ever, other than sourdough bread. I'm gonna pop these in the toaster. I don't like... Oh no! Oh. Who unplugged the toaster? I don't like my toast super toasted, so just like light toast. We're gonna cook our eggs. I like to do two fried eggs, and I always pop the yolk. I like it fully cooked. If there's any yolk running at all, I will literally just die on the spot. I hate it. Stick. That's the most difficult thing to do, set an egg on a counter. This is my egg pan. I've used this for many years now. I love her. Now I'm gonna crack some eggs. I don't want to make a mess. Two eggs. And then I need a spatula. Hopefully the dishes are clean. And you pop the yolk. Boop, boop. This is how my mornings go. Okay, this is my favorite outfit in the entire world. I know it's like super basic, but I can't explain like the energy I feel when wearing this outfit is just like above all other outfits. This shirt is like the perfect amount of thick to thinness. The white Nike shorts, like the bright colors. And then normally I wear my pink Fila socks, but they're they're actually done in the wash, but I'm, t I'm too lazy to like find them and put them together. So I'm just wearing my gray ones today. I don't really know why I'm wearing a beanie. I'm a beanie girl, I love beanies. And if beanies make me happy, I may as well wear them because I'm trying to be happy and not cry myself to sleep. That's another issue for another day. <laughs> my toast is done. So let me show you the amount of toasty toastness I like. It's just like barely, like golden. Look how perfect that is. I have a feeling I'm gonna want more food than this. Oh, I forgot to do my avocado. I'm a mess. No, don't have my favorite bowl. They're all in. Oh wait, they're done. Duh. This is my favorite bowl ever. I don't remember who got it for me, but it was a wedding present. So shout out. All right guys, let's talk about how to be happy because your girl needs some tips anyway. I always see on TikTok, people are just like, when you realize that life literally doesn't matter, you're so much happier. Like, okay, like you do matter and life matters, but it also doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to move across the country, what is stopping you? If you are an adult, obviously if you're still like in high school, don't listen to me. But if you're an adult, even if you have no money, just move and get a job somewhere else and you'll be happier. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. Like literally, why not? Why not? 
You can make up a million excuses for reasons you don't want to do things that you've always wanted to do. Or you could just do them. I wanted to marry the love of my life. I was 18 years old. Guess what? I did it anyway. Don't care. I'm happy as can be. Never been happier. So, who cares? And the thing is, usually the thing stopping you from doing what makes you happy is other people. Other people's judgments. Like, why? Why are you doing that to yourself? Your judgment is the most important one. Okay, so continuing on with my avocado. Smush it up in your bowl. Smush, smush, smush. Make all the ASMR noises. It's the best. And these are the two key ingredients. Pepper. Pepper's good, but not as good as garlic salt. If you don't have garlic salt in your life, I just made your life a thousand times better. This is the best thing you will ever add to every single... In fact, let's put some in my egg. I love it. I love it that much. We're going to put it everywhere. I put it on everything. If I'm eating salad, that's... Just kidding. I don't do that. I'm just so excited. I love garlic salt. Man, I should film when I'm like in this weird mood all the time because I honestly like don't know what's going on. I'm just like... Okay, I promise I'm not on drugs. Someone commented on my last video saying like, she looks high all the time. I've never done drugs. I'm just on, I'm high on life, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, keep smushing avocado. Continuing back with our important conversation. People judge you literally no matter what you do. So do what makes you happy. Whatever it is, I don't care. I really don't, just do it. If you wanna go live in a van, go live in a van. If you wanna marry the love of your life, marry them. If you wanna get a dog, get a dog. If you want to go sit on a cliff and scream at the top of your lungs, literally, why not? Even if people are there at the cliff, just do it. I need to take this own advice myself, but I'm giving it so that we can all take it together. You know? Lately, I have been having some bad mindsets and I'm doing it to myself. So I am, from today on, trying to get rid of all those bad thoughts and happy thoughts. So here's the thing. For me, like, I'm happiest when I'm literally chilling at my house, eating my favorite foods. I have my cats, my husband. Maybe we're playing games. Maybe I'm watching TikToks. Maybe I'm just staring out the window. That's my happy place. I love it. So if people are asking me to hang out all the time and I honestly just don't want to, I just don't. Because life is about your happiness. Now, obviously, you want other people to be happy around you too. Making other people happy makes you happy too. So yeah, sometimes I'm randomly in the mood to go drive who knows where and just jam to music in the car. So I do it. Like what is stopping you from achieving your happiness? What is it? And I know it's easier said than done. I'm not even fully participating in this advice yet. I just think it's great advice. Like, come on, Sid, take your own advice. Mmm. Mmm. So now we're gonna cut the eggs. Gotta have two separate egg actions. And we're gonna flip them. And they don't have to be perfect, okay? Life is not about being perfect. No one's perfect. Only Jesus. Okay, there we go. Um, what else? What else? What else is happening? I don't know. Lately, I, on my channel, I have a video coming soon just talking about like the pressures I've been feeling. It was a little drive with me and just how I want to switch it up on my channel and do things that actually make me happy. I feel like you guys will really like that video coming soon. But I just want to vibe. Like I just want to be friends. I just want to hang out. Like I keep putting pressure on myself to be this person I'm not. I'm just going to be me. And if you don't like me, that's literally fine because I mean, I'm in the process of liking me if you know what I'm saying. I started wearing all my rings again because I just feel like that's me. Um, I'm, I ordered more chains because that's me. It makes me happy. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, okay. Also, Dallin's totally like when I'm crying in bed sometimes, he's going to like pull this video up and be like, Sid, you're the one that said this. Okay. So just so you guys know, this video is going to be used against me. Yeah. Anyway, just, just do what makes you happy. Mmm. Okay, my bread is a little bit too untoasted, I guess. As long as you're not like hurting people around you, not breaking any laws, what's stopping you from doing things? Someone's gonna take this like all the wrong way and like go commit a crime and be like, I just wanted to be happy. I just committed mass arson, like why not? Don't do that. We're done with our breakfast. Well, we're not done, we're done making it. Ooh, I forgot to throw my eggs away. Here is my finished product. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. Mmm, so good. Mmm, that is good. So I know today was a little bit different. 
and I was just like ranting about happiness, but sometimes that's what you need. So if you guys want to judge me, you can if you want. If this is something you enjoyed, then let me know and I'll do more like this. Maybe not so serious where I talk about how you just need to do what makes you happy. We could totally do something more like lighthearted and funny next time. Just let me know. Mm. I have another great piece of, of advice. Social media. It's toxic. It's so toxic. Like so toxic. I personally took my Instagram app because that's the one that makes me feel most self-conscious about myself. I got on it first, unfollowed anyone who makes me feel bad about myself, and then I moved it to the last page on my phone because all my apps are in folders on my first page, so then that's too much work to get to and I never get on it anymore. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I hardly ever post on my story. I hardly ever post, unless it's something like a picture I really like and I just want to post it. Because like, well, I don't care, like I honestly have always hated Instagram. So why, why keep doing it if it's just something I hate? So I post every once in a while just when I want to, but... I don't need to like post everything about my life on there. Who cares? Literally no one cares. <laughs> I get on Twitter a lot because I never get triggered on Twitter. I don't get self-conscious or insecure. I just laugh on Twitter because the people I follow just um, tweet memes. Um, TikTok, my TikTok feed used to be like girls who I would be jealous of or something and make me feel insecure about myself. But I like switched up my feed to where I'm like, I'm like in deep TikTok now. Like everything on my For You page makes me like cry laughing. So that's good. So I like TikTok now. Snapchat, I hardly ever use Snapchat. I have a couple friends I talk to on there. I talk to my sister on there. So I just get on it if I get a Snapchat. Yeah, so I'm kind of just like stepping back from social media. I realized that I don't need it. Thank you for listening. If there's a person or a thing in your life that is making you sad, insecure, whatever, stop. If it's Instagram, just delete it or unfollow them. If it's a person, obviously that is a lot different. It's hard to like detach from a person, but try your best because you need, you need to be happy. Wow, I should take my own advice. <laughs> so I've talked a lot about like going and just getting your happiness and getting things out of your life that make you not happy, but sometimes you genuinely are st stuck in a situation. Maybe you're in high school and you don't really get along with your parents or your siblings or... I know that there are situations that you actually cannot leave. And my advice is to find the things that do make you happy in your bad situation. I'm honestly really bad at this, but I'm trying to be better at it. I feel like I used to be really good at this. But like, if you're in the worst situation ever, just find that one thing that makes you happy and like cling to it. So I guess there's my advice for that. And there's my breakfast. So thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. Um, I hope I can take my own advice. I hope you guys can take my advice. Let me know if you like this video, honestly. Actually, if it's mean, don't tell me. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and had a good time and learned a thing or two. Um, share this video with a friend if you want. Maybe they need the advice. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.